and welcome back everyone welcome back to another week another edition of esl open cup americas number 204 oh my one of the last esl americas of the year the fir the first one of december welcome everyone and oh, we have quite a stacked bracket here today exclamation mark b in the chat if you guys want to have a link to the bracket itself we can delve into that a little bit later on as we are diving right into our first series here and spawning in the bottom left hand corner of alkyana we have the blue zerg player representing starlight twinkle it is wayne and spawning in the top right hand corner we have as opponent we have the red terran representing hyper one from south korea living in japan it is hon mono Ooh, going for an interesting opener okay so first okay good morning everyone <laughs> i i wake up just before just as we were going live i yeah yeah i'm i'm here present we are good to go and yeah, I'll be honest. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, Hon Mono, he's known for a couple of different openers and a couple of different builds. Uh, one is 3CC211. He can be going for like very economic, very bio-oriented openers and play styles. Otherwise, he's known for his proxy 3 racks, where he does cheese the hell out of you into a more mech-oriented game, into mech. Mech is the other thing he's known for. But I was about to say, I was about to sing his praises and be like, uh, we haven't really seen a 2 racks opener out of him before the beyond two racks and this isn't the beyond two racks we are skipping the cc on the low ground we're going straight for a third racks this is going to be three racks mass reaper out of hon mono and for now wayne is in the dark oh boy it's going to be on wayne here to try to figure out what the hell is going on the first overlord is going to be getting across the map is going to be confirming, of course, the Reapers in production. Wayne should be staying in gas. And I mean, already he hasn't pulled out of gas. So he is going to be able to get into link speed a little bit faster. As the Everlord dips in. And we do confirm the additional Raxes. Now, we don't know that it's Mass Reaper yet. Oh, we're we going up to four? This is not... <laughs> this is not seen too often here. As we're going up to five? Ah, uh, there's a reason why they call him the most... <laughs> The most honorable of monobles, Hung Mono, if you will, as we are going five racks Reaper here from Hon Mono. My god, uh, can he even sustain making five Reapers at a time? We're about to find out. As I imagine, it's going to be transitioning. Yep, there we go. We have Tech Labs reactors on the way. We are switching into a one base all in. It's going to be five racks Marine here. We start off with Reapers, don't get me wrong, they're going to be getting across the map, but already we are transitioning out of this. Overlord is going to be hunted down, Rax is lifted, and Wayne is in the dark. Wayne does see the tech lab, so he's aware. He's aware that Reaper production is ending, but he should also be aware that, again, this is like a really fast tech lab here, and I don't know, this actually feels like a pretty normal transition. The problem is that Wayne, he didn't see, he didn't see the lack of expansion, doesn't know that it's an all-in. So Wayne is droning. Wayne is droning up right now, he's unaware that... Again, we're just banging up Marines back at home. Building ourselves back up. Wayne going two base. Oh my god, he's going two base lair. Oh, okay, but he's going into roaches. I was about to say, if he tries to go two base muta, then this could be disastrous here for Wayne. Oh, good. Uh, he would just die then and there if he takes all of his gases and goes into mutas. But alas, thankfully for Wayne, he's going to Roaches. So he will have a standing army. Still not going to be amazing, but it's going to... I mean, I say not going to be amazing. I feel like Roaches defensively are kind of what you want in this situation. It's very larva efficient. We don't have a lot of larva to begin with. As long as we don't get supply blocks, Wayne, he should be able to hold on. Third base is being taken. Reapers are coming in. Marines still have yet to be revealed. Reapers do get eye on the third base. There we go. The boys are being pulled. It's all or nothing for Hon Mono. How many Marines do we have? We are up to oh God, 19 Marines. And we have revealed ourselves. The Queens are going to be caught out. We need to get out of here. No. One queen gets caught off of creep. The second queen as well. Wayne is in a lot of trouble. We need roaches here and now. We have zero roaches. We have drones. And Homeowner may have just caught Wayne completely off guard. Drones are going to be going down. We're going to be <laughs> drone drilling. It's SCV drilling in towards that middle line. 
Seven roaches are in production, but it may just not be enough. As we're being pinned all the way back into the main base, the boys, they have to be pulled. Roaches are coming out. But do we have enough? We have a stim. Oh my god, the drones are getting annihilated. GG gets called and on mono. We'll take game number one. Oh, GG. Oh my god, the one base all in out of Homono successfully hiding it as well, even though, I mean, again, a Roach one would have been ideal there, but at the same time, uh, Wayne did invest, oh, my apologies, I have to set up my cam, uh, Wayne did invest uh, into the lair, which of course did not come into play whatsoever, and... Yeah, he just didn't know what was happening. He drove up a little bit too much. Uh, didn't realize how much danger he was in. So overall, a solid build there out of Honmono. Keeping it hidden from his opponent. Catching Wayne off guard. And yeah, snowballing out of control. And now the question becomes, can Wayne fight back here in game number two? As we are loading in to Radis' station. What the hell were the vetoes? <laughs> how do we end up on a map like this? I am concerned. I am concerned for Wayne. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I should have more faith, but... Aye, aye, aye. Let's go. <laughs> As we are loading into one of the most vetoed maps in the map pool. Or the most vetoed map in the map pool. I'm ready for it. Sorry, I was just sneezing. And swatting. In the top right hand corner of Radis' station, going for a gas for oh, let's oh, actually, sorry, my apologies, going for a 15 hatch. We have our blue Zerg player representing Starlight Twinkle down in the series. It is Wayne. And spawning in the bottom left hand corner, going for a bit of a cheeky build here with this SCP across the map, representing Team Hyper One. Leading the series, it is Hon Mono. The cheesiest Terran player in all of South Korea, and we don't just have one proxy racks, we have two and three. So this is the patented proxy three racks out of Hon Mono. We saw a lot of this over the weekend, and we saw this kill players like Demi, we saw it even kill players like Eric as well. This can get out of hand quite quickly. I imagine we're going to be throwing down these racks and floating over the wall into the pocket base. I'm pretty sure that's the goal here with this proxy. There are no Reaper Cliffs, so Reapers wouldn't make any sense. We're going to be banking on Marines. And yeah, going straight for the kill here. Meanwhile, Wayne going for a 15-15. A 15 hatch into the 15 sporting pool. Now, this is a relatively safe opener. Because it's a pool first, we will get Queens a lot faster. We have access to Lings a little bit faster as well. But... As, as safe as this build can be, we need a scout. We need to figure out what the hell is going on as the Raxes are floating in. And I assumed there was going to be a proxy 3 Rax. It's a proxy 4 Rax. We are completely all in with this. There is no turning back. Oh my god. Okay, we're floating into said main base. Meanwhile, behind this, Homono, of course, with nothing back at home. <laughs> Oh, God. And Wayne is none the wiser. He's droning, which is okay for now, but, like, oh, God. <laughs> the question becomes, when is Homona going to reveal his hand? Oh, he's checking! Well, I mean, he's going to be going to expand, and as he goes for the expansion, he will... Oh, oh my God, not see anything. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The Rax just now comes in, which means in this next rotation, we should be getting eyes on the proxy. Uh, never mind, the drone is back to mining here at the natural base. Queens are getting in position. It's going to be one base version. Now, this is going to be a little bit safer. Uh, as opposed to the previous game, we have an abundance of queens working on a third and fourth queen. We don't have any kind of lair, so we have additional gas for roach production. And the Overlord it does confirm the lack of CC on the low ground. And the rings have been revealed. We have revealed ourselves. Drones are being focused on four workers. Five, six drones already going to be going down. SCVs have arrived. And it's not about killing the natural. We can't waste our time. We have to go straight for the main. And just like that, one queen is going to get targeted down. We do save the other. Uh, but Homono. Uh, he's looking to snowball out of control again. Roaches are in production. We need to buy a little bit more time. Six roaches here is going to be huge. And there we go. The roaches, they have arrived. Boys are being pulled. 
The Roaches, they arrive just in time, and it looks like Wayne, we should be able to barely hold on. We do have a clutch transfuse. We pull back. And Wayne, he's cleaning this up. He is holding. Again, unlike the previous game, we didn't waste any resources, of course, on the lair. Didn't waste anything on any additional droning either. But Wayne did take a lot of damage. That was 13 workers going down. He does survive, but he has a lot of droning to do. 13 dead workers. And we're still making more Marines, by the way. Like, again, it's, it's a proxy Forex. We're all in. Wayne is trying to counterattack. He And to be fair, there's nothing back at home. So he can break through into the main base. But because he's droning, um, he is under threat. He is in a lot of trouble here. Once his army does push back in, we could end up in a really weird base trade. As Marines are backing up. This roach is waddling across the map. We have that one Ravager as well. We have the Overlord for High Ground Vision. The bunker has completed, and the Marines do get there in time. Boys have been pulled. We have two bunkers even. On Mono, he's holding on to his main. Trying to expand, trying to transition. Meanwhile, across the map, banking up Marines. And again, if Wayne has nothing at home to defend, like he hasn't pieced together that the proxy is in his base. We're even getting the tech lab for Stim. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Biles are going to be connecting. SCVs are going down. Looks like we will break in eventually, but this deeper. I mean, sorry, these bunkers are going to buy so much time. Back at home. We do have at least a couple of queens. The roaches are welding back home. Wayne doesn't try to break in. Interesting choice. He's actually right, uh, returning back home, which I think is a wise choice, but it may just be too little too late. The Marines, they reveal themselves. And there are so many of them. 19 Marines and a Marauder. And this may just be game. This may just be game at this point. As we supply block Wayne, there are four Roaches coming in back at home, but four Roaches is not going to be enough. The army is racing back home. We need it. <laughs> Uh, queens are going down. Uh, drones as well. Here we, here we go. We have to make a final stand here on the low ground. The Roach Ravager has amassed. So far, oh, Wayne. He does hold on to his natural base. He's going to try to dance with this army. Wayne, he's still supply blocked. He's still supply blocked. Still needs a little bit more room to breathe here. 12 links are on the way. Wayne running out of gas. But it looks like he should be able to deal with this. It's going to be close. The Biles. The Biles are going to be dodged. Ravagers are being focused down one after the other. But we do clean this up. Wayne can go back to mining. Meanwhile, we're still amassing a second army. Or, sorry, I guess, I guess a third army. <laughs> no shot. We're moving. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I apologize. I apologize for the stream going down earlier, but my stream or the my internet here is unstable in the middle of the day, which happens to coincide with ESL Open Cup Americas. It's this is usually the, the tournament where I drop. If it's, <laughs> this is like the only tournament where I drop. Feels bad, man. But it only happens once, uh, and then we should be good for the rest of the broadcast. I do apologize. Meanwhile, we did miss out on the conclusion of that last game. It did go the way of Wayne, which means we're going to the ace match. We're going all the way to game number three. It all ends here and spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Oceanborn. We have the blue Zerg player representing Starlight Twinkle. It is Wayne. And spawning in the top left hand corner, we have his opponent. We have the South Korean Terran player, the cheesiest Terran in all of South Korea, represent oh, living the land of Japan, representing the team Hyper One. It is Hon Mono. Uh, thank you for everyone that did stick around as well. I know I, I, we lost a lot of viewers in that disconnect. I do apologize. I do apologize. But we are back and we are getting into a proxy 3x. Meanwhile, Wayne going for a gas first. A gas pool opener. Very safe build here. Oh, I say very safe. Very aggressive build actually is what I would commit to. But uh, against Homono, I would say a safe build. Just because Homono has been going for cheese and proxies and one base all ins every game so far this series. And now we have that proxy 3x upon us. 
here we go. Wayne going for a delayed expansion, Overlords are moving out across map, eventually getting a read on what has been going on. We have seen Homono go for proxy three axes many times at this point, uh, throughout the, even this week. <laughs> it's uh, kind of what he's known for. I'm curious if he's going to throw down a fourth. For now, it's only going to be three Raxes, massing Marines. When it comes to the last game, it all apologizes. We missed out on it. Uh, but Wayne was able to survive the cheese, survive the proxy, able to get up to a two base saturation, two base economy. Homono was trying to mass expand, and Wayne punished him for it. Homono even went up to BCs. Wayne was ready. Wayne was able to deflect, able to survive. And here we go. We do have the Marines moving out. SCVs have been revealed. One SCV goes down, which means one less bunker to work with. One less SCV to work with as the Lings are getting across the map. But we do have a full wall off. Homono, he is ready for any kind of counterattack. The bunkers have been thrown down. And we have a spine crawler on the way on the high ground. Wayne, he's probably going to have to wait for these things and pull the boys. Uh, we may have to pull the workers here to try to hold on to the natural base. And for now, we have yet to pull them. But now we're relying on the Queen and just a handful of Lings. Again, Wayne, he's across the map. Oh, the Queen goes down! Ay, ay, ay. A big loss there for Wayne. Uh, bunkers are getting up and running, and things are looking a little bit worse for wear here for our Zerg player. A lot of lost mining time. It looks like this natural base may just go down. Uh, it looks like Wayne is going to be okay. No, he wants to... Okay, okay. <laughs> Looks like he's accepting the, the fate of this base. He isn't going to try and save it. Broodling's going to try to focus on these bunkers, of course, but they're going to be able to hold on. And Wayne is playing one base versus one base. Now, because it's a proxy three racks, homeowner, he wants to at least kill the natural. He can transition out of this, but it is going to be a rough transition. And more bunkers on the way. I imagine homeowner is going to go for maybe some add-ons here for some marauder production. Or he could just start floating back home. Yeah, there we go. He's going to be floating. Uh, not back home towards his opponent? Wait, what? <laughs> we have a Bailing us on the way for a Bane bus. The factory is back at home, but no, the Raxes, they are coming on forward here instead. Oh, it's a mech transition. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> this does make sense. Mech should be on the way for Hon Mono. We've seen this before. As I say that, there are those add-ons that I was assuming would be thrown down uh, here on the low ground. But no, we just bring it all forward. Three tech labs, by the way. Stim, combat shields, concussive shell. They can all start at the same time. As Hon Mono is just leapfrogging forward here with these bunkers. Meanwhile, Wayne this entire time has been amassing links. And will soon be looking to bust on through. Oh, oh, he sees! No! The Bailings! They've been spotted! These Bailings, they have been spotted. The, the Lings, they do have to collapse. One, two Bailings go down. A little bit wasted there from Wayne. He's down to two Bailings remaining. He only has one Gas Geyser. Oh my god, and we do bleed out so many Lings trying to get across the map. It, uh, is this... Uh, this feels just too much damage. This feels like too much. Hellions are on the way. Wayne just crumbling a little bit here under the pressure. Again, just he has such limited lava production, such limited gas as well for Bailings. Homono, oh, he is pushing in, like he is gaining ground. Because shell is finishing up, I imagine that Homono oh, assumed it was going to be roaches. And this is. <laughs> This is disastrous for Wayne at this point. Here we go. He's going to try to break out. He's going to try to break free. Bailings, they will crash in. They will take down one of those deep... Sorry, one of those bunkers. They take down two. Spine Crawler has burrowed. And it looks like we will break out. But this was a costly trade. The Sutter stepping is real. We should be, clean we should be able to clean this up. Just barely. And even to nice Stim, potentially. Yeah, Stim is going to be cancelled. Homono is floating back home. But Wayne, he is down in the, the in the economy, down in workers. His opponent going straight for that CC, getting into Hellion production. We're, we're going to be landing back on these. Oh my god, we're landing back on the add-ons. Homono, he doesn't care. 
keeping these lings busy. And Wayne, he doesn't see, he doesn't know, he's droning. Should be pulling back to deny any kind of dive. Bane bus is upon us, let's go. He should be able to bust into the main base and lings can flood, flood in thereafter. Hellion should be keeping Wayne pinned back at home though. Ay ay ay, this is still anyone's game. They're gonna make this enemy crash in! They bust through the wall, but only Bailings, no Lings. One Ling makes it in, but we cleaned it up. Ah, we needed more of a follow-up here. As Wayne, he's just building up his forces. Slowly spreading creep. Attempting to establish himself. We're going to base lair at this point. Ah, but there are just so many Hellions and Marauders, they have revealed themselves. We can dive on top of the Queens, one after the other. Clutch transfused, but this Queen should go down. Yeah, Wayne, he's in quite a bit of trouble here. But at the same time, Homono is giving him time. I, I think we could have kept trying to push on forward to get on top of the Spinecrawler. But Wayne, he's amassing a larger army. Back at home, Homono transitioning. Getting into more SCVs. Saturating is natural. Aye, aye, aye. Hon Mono may just have too much. It's hard to say here. Like, a lot of this is going to come down to the control. Like, if the Hellions can kite back behind these Marauders when we engage, we can cle clean the Link Bane. Marauders could try to focus down those Queens. And here we go, we're busting through. Homono is just going to give up in this position. He does retreat for a moment. We'll focus down the spine crawler. Homono, he's racing back home. Wayne going for a massive counterattack. He threatens a counterattack. Doesn't commit. Does turn back around. Homono, he only came back home with the Hellions. Marauder has been caught. So we're trying to go for the surround. We dive on the Marines, we dive on the Marauders, Bailey's there, waddling in! And we will clean up most of that bio army. Oh no! Ah, uh, Homoto, he chases! Flies too close to the sun, takes the Bailey's to the face. I was waiting for it. <laughs> oh my god, and Wayne... He's in a way stabilizing, he's taking a risk. He's going two base Muta here with that Spire, with that fast Lair. Finally, this position has been broken. God, it feels like it's been on a knife's edge. Wayne, he makes it out. Does have a bit of gas to work with, working in the base as well. Now, the problem here is that Hon Mono is turtling. Uh, we have turrets already in production, both in the main base and in the natural. Raxes are being thrown down. It is going to be bioplay here from Homono, not mech. Important to point out. Uh, but there isn't much on the ground. I'm t I was like bringing up the muters, but even just a pure Ling Bane army could break through. Homono doesn't have much to work with. Oh, the Baylings! They're getting caught out! Oh, good target firing here by Homono. He does focus on every single Bailing. Which means we cannot bust in. Despite Homono not really having too much here to defend. He will do so. Mines are getting in position. We do have seven muters in production. Now these muters, they can maybe camp the production. They can't really get into the mineral lines. There are turrets. We could harass the gases, of course. There's still potential for damage. What's probably more important, uh, as long as Wayne does keep these moves alive, Scan does reveal them just in time. What's important is that this will be containing Homono. Drop play shouldn't really be too possible here. It's going to be difficult to move out, and Wayne can drone. He can safely saturate his bases. God, the mines are in position. Oh no! No! 
As we dive on forward, we take two mines to the face. Two mutants go down instantly. And Homono, he is holding on. Additional Widow Mines are getting in position. Oh, they just do on Burrow. Very fortunate for Wayne, actually. Widow Mines are repositioning behind this. Wayne saturating his third. Taking a slight economic lead. I say, I say a slight lead because the third CC is finishing up here for Hot Mono. Going to be landing it on location. Is floating on over. Wayne rotating around. He could try to harass this new mineral line. It is possible. Wayne just has to be very careful with his movement because of all those widow mines. Just have to take care. Wayne now getting into his double Evo chamber, double upgrades. Working towards 1 1. Wayne does force out a stip. Oh my god. Not losing a meter. And the game is stabilizing at this point. I say stabilizing. There is going to be a big window, actually. 2-2 um, two, two is on the way for Hot Mono. There's going to be a window where he has 2-2. Two, two and, I mean, he's perpetually ahead in upgrades. Um, so he will have a stronger bio force on the ground. But we have a 4-CC on the way. So Hot Mono doesn't look like he's going to be committing to any kind of major push. Yeah, he's getting a second factory. He will soon be taking two more gases. Looks like Hot Mono is working towards a later game. Combat shields will finish. Sensor towers are finishing up, and yeah, the game is going to be slowing down. We have what well, we're getting into a macro game <laughs> from a proxy three max. And Homono did a lot of damage early on. Don't get me wrong, he did do a lot of damage, but Wayne is recovering slowly but surely, getting up to three, soon to be four base saturation. 11 drones are on the way. These meters are doing the best they can to slow down this army to keep Homono pinned. Get a widow mine. Scan reveals the fourth. Hon Mono is aware. From here. Again, we're just waiting for I'm waiting for Hon Mono to move out with 2-2. Two two is now done, but because he's taking this fourth base, it looks like he's just gonna be again taking a more slower approach here. Ooh. Oh my God! No! Oh, in the blink of an eye, the mutas they come in. Four widow mine shots go off, and how many muta kills was that? Ah, uh, fourteen. I mean, two died earlier, so twelve. The muta count completed. Now is the time to go. Now we we push out, Bobby. We move out. That was brutal. That was unfortunate. The ra the floating racks helping keeping that hidden as well. And see we go. Homeowner is pushing out across the map. Only Ling Bane to defend, but that may just be enough. Bane is rolling in. Oh my god! The splits are up there! Oh, we take the Bane to the face. That was maybe the best fight that Wayne could have taken. At the same time, going for a massive Ling counter attack. Bane they have rebuilt. Lings, they catch reinforcements, they clean up the Marine Marauder, and Homono turns around. Oh my god. Wayne took Widow Mines to the face, Homono took the Bailings to the face, and both players kind of bounce off each other. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Widow Mines. They're soon to reset. Uh, hopefully, we get some detection. There we go. Every suture on the way. We'll clean this up. The minefield has been dealt with. Home Mono getting up to his four base saturation. Wayne getting his fifth. We have to be very careful against these mines. Oh, my God. So do, we do focus these down in time. Another muta goes down. Oh, my God. <laughs> so close. As uh, yeah, Wayne, he's being a little bit careless with these muters. 
does run into the army. Additional mutas are getting picked off. And again, these are expensive losses here for Wayne. 21 mutas dead so far. Look at the efficiency here. Look at how well Homona has been trading. He lost 700 gas to the 3k of his opponent. Ay, ay, ay. I like this. As Homono is going to keep on pushing. Again, army supplies are looking similar. Actually, Homono up in army supply. As long as the splits are good, he can break his opponent. It's going to come down to the mine shots. The spread. Failings are rolling in. We get some decent connections here. As the army sims on board, but a little bit too far into a creep. And now Wayne, he can commit. The mind shots. Doesn't go off. Let's say that. Going off on the detection. Every single overseer goes down. We're fighting off of creep. Up. Oh, but we can connect. Back onto creep. Failings are rolling on in. And they will not get on top of the Marines. This time, the spread is the split is looking good here from Honmono. He does defend. He does push this back. The Baileys have been reset. But Honmono is heavily overstimmed. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, <laughs> and after a tense moment, we're going to be calming things down. We're going to try and harass with the little mutas we have. How many mutas are we on? We're on 13. Only 13 mutas here. Behind this, Wayne joining up to almost 80, getting his infestation bit up and running. Working towards Hive Tech. I imagine Ultras are going to be on the horizon. Here, Wayne's still trying to dance with those mutas. Homono just stabilizing here on four bases, just turtling up. Your fusion core is on the way. I imagine the fusion core is going to be for Liberator range, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the fusion core. As again, Homono, he's keeping up here in the supplies. Still ahead in army supply as well. Wayne has some decent crease red getting to the halfway mark across the map. But no vision here. Mainly does what the army. We're pushing in. Oh my god. Off of creep. Massive mine connections. The retargeting. Oh, winner mines. They do go off. We barely connect with the bio army. Wayne not trading well at all there. And you can see that reflected in the supplies. Homeowner, he is maxed out. Wayne down 30 supply. Yeah, and just a little bit too cavalier fighting off of creep. Oh my god, mind shot goes off. On top of that, homeowner, he's on 3 3. He's already got his ideal upgrades. Another muta goes down, trying to distract homeowner. But he can push forward, he can break this. The more time he gives Wayne, the higher chances, of course, Wayne has of actually holding. And he's rolling on, oh god, into the minefield. Not like this. The spread of mine's a bit too good, but homeowner retreats. He's going to rotate around. Not too sure how I feel about this. He's going to be skirting around towards the left-hand side of the map instead, towards some of these fresh mining bases. You just say, catch some Metamax. Two Metamax go down. Pretty good pickoffs. Yeah, and homeowner, he's just trying to keep up with the muta, with the muta movement. We are now back up to 18 mutas. Ultra caverns on the way. Yeah, homeowner, he's racing back home. These mutas are doing a, no a lot at this point. Earlier, they haven't really, they haven't really done too much economic damage, and mutas are going down. But they distract the army. Remember, Wayne, he was down in supply. He took a really rough trade earlier. But homeowner, he's not really feeling too confident. He's stuck here chasing the mutas. 
Wayne is able to recover. He's got Ultras on the way. 3-3, three, three, Kindness Plating, Adrenal Glands. Wayne is catching back up. He's made a hit to the left hand side of the map. He does catch a couple of babies for free. The Marines! Oh my god, they got stuck on the wrong side of those Marauders, but we do split in time. We do pull back. Oh, Mono, you can keep on pushing. He will take down this hatchery. Oh, not quite. And the Ultras have been revealed. Now would be a good time for Liberator Range. And the Ghost Academy, things that we just don't have. Yeah, we've had the fusion core for a while, but we haven't invested into lib range. Not yet. Oh, Mono still oh, does target down one of those ultras just before Kindness Plating finishes. Very nice pickup. And another ultra is going to be going down. Expensive losses here for Wayne. Four more ultras on the way. Wayne trying to go for a big Muta counterattack. But we can't push up into this. Oh no! <gasps> Massive mine hits. Connect on the bailings. The Marauders, they focus on the Ultra as well. Ultra is going to fall. Some of these bailing connections not looking too bad. Up! Oh! We do connect. We do clean this up. Ooh. But here come a wave of reinforcements. That was nearly half of the army of Honmono. The, the medevacs, they do stay alive. They preserve, they preserve themselves. And Honmono, he can keep on pushing. No more Bailings left. Only Ling's Ultras and Muters. Nine Bailings on the way. And we're stimming on forward. Ultras on their own. They're getting picked up. Ah, uh, the hatchery does go down. Mind just not being wasted. At the same time, though, a massive Link counterattack. There's nothing back at home. The Links, they get into the main base. They get into the third. SCVs are going down. Wayne, he's holding. <laughs> it was a rough hold, but he does. Oh, God. Ooh, mind shots do connect. But across the map, 22 SCVs have gone down. The economy of homeowner has been crippled. Wayne, he is still in this. He may have lost the base. He may have had some rough trades. But he has a better economy. Homeowner down to 45 SCVs. Heavily oversaturated here. He's running out of minerals. Running out of mineral patches, actually. He needs another base. He needs another expansion. Do catch some of these muters. Shows the fungal. We do connect with the main army. The ultras, they collapse on this. Get on top of the ultras. Oh, sorry, they get on top of the marauders. <laughs> oh my god. This feels so much on the knife's edge at the moment. Again, Wayne, he has a slightly better army, but he's being focused down. Another big fungal. He cleans up the marauders. The Marines are standing strong. There's so many Ultras go down. Wayne, he plummets in supply. Long distance mining. Finally getting the space up and running. Wayne, he's hurting. He barely has any minerals in the bank. And Homeowner has a fresh mining base. I mentioned earlier, Homeowner, he may have a lower worker count. But with this base, I mean, he can sustain himself. Corruptors on the way. The Muta count getting reset. The target firing. Oh my god. Homono, he cleans up the muters, rotates around. Wayne, he needs time to recover. He needs to calm down. Oh god, not into the mines! Oh, we force some friendly fire. Not bad. Uh, five more drones go down. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, Homono trying to gain ground as well. Good mine shot.
the Raiders are holding the line. Homono also heavily oversaturated. Both players are. <laughs> My shot's going to be going off. We do have a drop on the left hand side. Homono going for a split push, trying to deny some of these fringe bases. Wayne does spot ahead of time. He is splitting up his army as well. God, Medivac is gonna fall. We should be able to shut down these. Oh, <laughs> should be able to shut down these Marines. Bailings do connect. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, Homeowner, he gets surrounded. Let's focus down one Ultra, but these have been expensive losses here for Honmono. Now taking his gases. Still does not have his... Yeah, still doesn't have another base up and running. Now going to be floated over. The Fungal! Not quite connecting, grazing the army. Honmono, no fear, just stimming on forward. There is still one fungal left in the chamber. Big mine shot. Uh -huh. <laughs> the winner mines. Not like this. Homono focuses down one of those infestors. Was the low energy infestor? Bear that in mind. There is still a fungal. Ah, but it only connects with two marauders. Meanwhile, another big link counter attack, denying some of these bases, getting into the mineral lines, can be the production. Catch a Marauder, catch a couple of Marines. We force back the army. This army heavily overstimmed. How many Medivacs do we have? One! No shot. One Medivac! To sustain the entire army. The Corruptors, they've been going ham. Speaking of, they're going straight for a base. The Marauders, they catch the minefield. The Widow Mine count reset. We get 11 SCVs. We don't kill the base, though. As Wayne has gotten another hatchery up and running, and he's taking the center left. Economically, Wayne, he's not in a bad position with these two fresh mining bases, soon to be three. Honmono desperately needs to expand. He desperately needs a matter, he needs a lot of things. <laughs> oh, God. Like, every stim is killing him. He can't afford to stim. Not like this. Decent mine connections. Oh my god. Massive mine hits actually, but you can see how low this army is. The Ultra's getting on top of this. One swipe is all he needs! One swipe! Ah! Mine shot's gonna be going up. They take down another Ultra. Jesus. The phone connects to it. Oh my god, it, it cleans up half the army. The fungal's insane. The Marauder goes down. Honmono barely has a standing army left. The Marine. Oh, no, we could have gone in. No, he gets distracted. <laughs> Goes for the other base. I mean, he will get a mineral line nonetheless, so he'll try to. It's one drone. But he's going to be forced back. I mean, this Karata production has been worth it much more than the Mutas earlier, to be honest. <laughs> we get a full medevac. One Marine survives. And it looks like Wayne has finally done it. <laughs> it's been... It's been a rough road here for Wayne. It's been brutal. We are oh, the mule hammer. Oh, the fresh mules, they're all gonna go down. A brutal loss there for Honmono. And it looks like Wayne has finally snowballed out of control. It was so close, it was so back and forth. By the way, this game started half an hour ago with a proxy three racks. <laughs> it started with a proxy, started with the cheese. With Wayne losing his natural, but the Ultras, they made it through the mass repair on the planetary, though. Uh, we keep the planetary alive just a little bit longer. The Ultras should eventually break through, though. Yeah, well, Homono is out of money. GG gets pulled. And Wayne has done it. Uh, <laughs> GG, Wayne takes the series 2-1, to one, advances on to the next round. That was a roller coaster ride of emotions. <laughs> oh my god, that was brutal. That was crazy. GG, well played. That could have gone either way for so long.
that at times was going the way of Hon Mono, at other times the way of Wayne. Uh, that was insane. <laughs> GG, well played. And yeah, with that, Wayne, he will advance on. Whew. And Hon Mono has been eliminated, but that was, that was a crazy series. <laughs> Oh god. Every game Home Mono Proxied, by the way. If you weren't here for game one or game two, every single game Home Mono Proxied. And uh Yeah, had pretty mixed success actually. Like Red Station was crazy. Uh, even the game before that. Regardless, GG Wayne advances on and he I believe should have his next opponent. We have we haven't even been able to have a look at the bracket. It's uh it's just been so intense, so chaotic. Exclamation mark B in the chat if you guys want to have a look at the bracket yourselves.